31 Days of Halloween Theater presents a classic lame scary story. Tonight I'd like to tell you a true story that happened to my sister's brother-in-law and his cousin. They lived in a town with a haunted house and one night the other one dared one of them to go into the haunted house. Well, this wasn't an easy thing to do because rumor had it that it had once been inhabited by a beautiful woman and she had had three husbands and all of them had died mysteriously. She was very beautiful but also very vain. She spent a lot of time looking in the mirror. And that's all anybody knew about her. Well, the first guy lost the toss of the coin, so he decided he would go in first. He creaked open the door, and he went in. He left the door open, and he walked into the entryway, and he felt a chill in the air. And then all of a sudden, right away, he heard, I have red ruby lips and long blood red fingernails. <laughs> he was so frightened, he ran out the, the house right away. And, and his friend was laughing at him. What? You couldn't last five minutes. He goes, you try it. So the second guy went in and he creaked up and he walked into the entryway, and he waited. He could feel the evil suffusing the atmosphere of the house. And then, boom, the front door slammed. He ran to the doorknob. He couldn't get it open. And then he heard the voice. I have red ruby lips and long blood red fingernails couldn't figure out where it was coming from. He looked all around. He made himself go into the dining room. Nothing. He made himself go further through the kitchen. Nothing. And then he turned around and he saw her there in the living room staring into a mirror. She turned and said, oh, there you are. Do you know what I do with my red ruby lips and my long blood red fingernails? He said, no, come closer, I'll show you. And she glided right up to him. Would you like to see what I do with my red ruby lips and my long blood red fingernails? <laughs> this has been a 31 Days of Halloween Theater classic, lame, scary story. Thank you for watching.